right, so I wanted to uh, read an email question. This comes to us from a recent article we wrote uh, in Lake Mary Healthy Living. Uh, we uh, have a partnership with them. They had asked us to uh, write an article uh, for their magazine. And uh, so uh, every couple months, uh, we will a uh, new article will be put in there. The last one um, uh, was uh, about smart home technology. Uh, and um, so if you get a chance, uh, definitely pick up uh, uh, the latest issue of Lake Mary Healthy Living magazine. And we had invited uh, the readers of that magazine to uh, submit an email question. So here it goes. Uh, this is uh, from Judy. Uh, she wrote, I recently read the article on smart homes in your latest magazine. It was very interesting. I listened to Mr. Mellick on the radio and have been meaning to call in with a question. I saw in the article that he was taking email questions, so I figured I would just ask this way. My home was built in the early 1980s. Uh, quite a few of my neighbors have been replacing their electrical panels. All of the houses in my neighborhood have Federal Pacific electrical panels. I've heard that they are dangerous. Is this true or is it not? One of my neighbors told me it was just a ploy by the power companies. Uh, thank you in advance for the answer, Judy. And well, thank you for the email question, Judy. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, this is this is extremely common, and and, uh, and a lot of times it is whole neighborhoods that have it. Uh, the Federal Pacific Electric Company was uh, manufacturing circuit breaker panels uh, from the 1950s through the 1980s, uh, mid to late 1980s. Uh, they were really installed everywhere throughout the country, not just uh, here in Florida. Uh, and as the years passed, uh, both electricians and home in inspectors found that the Federal Pacific Electrical Panels just failed to provide the proper protection. Um, there was also a class action lawsuit. Uh, it was uh, in New Jersey, if I remember correctly. And um, uh, they had stated uh, in the class action lawsuit that, uh, that the Federal Pacific Electric Company had uh, uh, violated the Consumer Fraud Act uh, because they knowingly uh, uh, manufactured and distributed circuit breakers which didn't meet the UL standards. So what happens basically with the panels is that when a, um, a breaker will actually fail to trip, uh, what's supposed to happen is if uh, too much electricity goes in, the, the, uh, the, uh, it trips, which stops the elect uh, electric current from passing through it. Uh, well, what happens is is that uh, some of the circuit breakers and specific panels the, of Federal Pacific uh, don't actually trip the breaker. That electricity continues to move through, and uh, there is no doubt that fires have been started uh, as a result of the Federal Pacific um, uh, panels. So uh, my suggestion is to have it replaced uh, have an electrician come out and, and replace that panel. I literally just went through this at, at my house. Uh, I purchased a house uh, in uh, July, and uh, during the home inspection uh, that I had done, uh, we discovered that we did have a Federal Pacific electric panel. Wow. And, and actually, um, my insurance company, my homeowner's insurance, required that I change that before they would take me on as a, uh, uh, as a, as a policy. And this is actually extremely extremely common. Uh, a lot of insurance companies, if they discover that you have a Federal Pacific uh, electrical panel uh, during the process of a four-point inspection, uh, they will require you to replace that electrical panel before uh, they will insure you. Um, so, Good to know information. Yeah. So it is, um, it, it is a problem. If you do have a Federal Pacific panel, I do recommend that you go ahead and, and uh, call an electrician and have it replaced. Um, and uh, the the guy that uh, that that replaced mine is a is a good friend of mine, um, and uh, so if you contact me, then I'll give you his contact information as well. Uh, his name is Steel Mycroft with uh, Wallstib Electric, and uh, he replaced the panel at my house. did a did a phenomenal job. I ended up actually moving my electrical panel. Uh, at the same time, uh, just because I wanted it in a in a different area of my house, but um, uh, but uh, normally it's it's uh, probably anywhere between seven hundred and twelve hundred dollars to replace that uh, that electric panel. Um, and as I said, Steele did a good job at my house. His and his number, if you want to reach him, is four zero seven. 
617-0842. Again, 407-617-0842. But whether it's him or any electrician, I, I do recommend that you have that uh, Federal Pacific electric panel replaced. If you want more information on it as well, uh, we'll put a link up on our site. Um, uh, the, the, the site that I think that has uh, a lot of really good information uh, for this whole process is uh, called inspectopedia.com, and we'll put a link on our site uh, if you want m- more information about uh, And some of the pictures are pretty interesting, too, of the different fires that have started as a result. So thank you, Judy, for that email question, and uh, thanks to Lake Mary Healthy Living uh, for the partnership uh, with them.